Hey guys, welcome back to the 14th episode of the 1.19 Skyblock series. So today we are randomly starting here at our grass patch because I just got five horse spawns. Right, let's see if we have a fast one among those. That one is rather slow, I can always tell already. They walk around a little bit. Uh, oh, I actually disabled particles so we don't get hearts. But yeah, it is 8.2 meters per second. Yeah, I could already tell. That one isn't too fast. By the way, particles you can disable with tweaker row. It's sometimes kind of useful if the particles are obstructing your view. Okay, let's see. But now at least the horse. That one is a bit quicker. Um, I'm curious about this one. Where's the saddle? Actually, I have more saddles even. It's so much from fishing. Okay, let's check this one. Oh, only 10.1. I thought this would be a quicker one. The, the thing is, we already have a super fast horse, actually. <laughs> uh, this one is also super slow. I think it's probably the slowest so far. 7.5 is like... Yeah, just a little bit faster than a default donkey. Yeah, the thing is, we already have a really good horse, so... Not too high of a chance to actually get a faster one. That one is decent, 11.6. I think this is our second fastest so far. And then there's... One left, this one here. Okay, let's see. 8.3, so no improvement. Um, yeah, in terms of a fast horse, which was, as I said, not really too surprising, because it's really hard to get a better one at this point. I also just got reminded that I should finally get rid of our spider spawning setup here, since we have the big spider farm anyway. And this at night time would actually cut into the rates of the slime farm a bit. And it doesn't look that great anyway. Episode 14 and still wooden tools. Oh. While we're at it, let's actually do a little cleanup. It's been a while since I've been at the starter platform. Most of the stuff that is important has been moved down at this point. But what is actually bothering me a little bit is that we have all those boats and mobs here inside of the spawn chunks. And they are basically always loaded, always cause a little bit of lag. Not that we have any lag issues already in the world, but it's just bad practice to have that stuff around. Maybe we'll keep the endermen so they can pick up stuff, but the rest is pretty much useless at this point. We can just get rid of those mobs. Oh! <laughs> that almost, that actually literally backfires. <laughs> Okay. okay. Let's also get rid of the boats. Oops. And what are we gonna do with the Enderman? I was thinking about moving them over there and let them already pick up the Nylium. I don't think this point is yeah, any use of the Nylium, really. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Also, I think I just keep the spawning platform placed onto light sources so we get normal hostile mob spawns here. Alright, let's get the Enderman over. Okay, there we go. Last time it was actually enough to just park the Enderman right next to the Nylium. Let's see if this works again. Yep, immediately. Okay, let's do it with the Warp Nylium as well. And then we can finally safely store this stuff away. Targeting it, and now it's picking it up. Okay. Not this again with I two glitches. There it is. Okay. It's always a little bit dangerous. But could we have the platform below? I mean imagine. Wouldn't have that. Well, let's actually move this Enderman a bit closer to the middle. It should be relatively safe. And an Ender Pearl as well. Can you pick up the Nylium? There it is. Okay. Yeah, this should be as safe as it gets. Nylium in the large chest here. This is yeah, the spawn area anyway, there is spawn protection. So far we didn't have a light block, so we can move that at some point. Remove the boats as well. 
There we go. Oh, we also have the chickens here in this chicken coop. Mm, I don't think this is necessary at this point as well anymore. Also, there's mobs here. It's also not really necessary. Maybe I'll just get rid of that. What's also really nice up here is the view, especially now with the Distant Horizons mod. You can see the mob farms we built, Morning Trader platform, Fox farm, over there is the Guardian farm, Sand farming area, and the Witch farm. So enough with tidying up the Minecraft world, now let's continue with the main progression. So last episode we've been AFKing the Morning Trader platform, spent almost all of our emeralds and got this stuff here. Some really interesting things, but not the really good stuff, like oak sapling, pointed dripstone, or moss blocks. But yeah, we got some saplings, so we can get bees. Um, get pumpkin seeds, so we can make golems. That's gonna be actually quite useful. And was got beetroot for red dye. <laughs> Nobody's gonna eat that anyway. Um, yeah, so we only have two emeralds left. This is not even enough to buy an oak sapling, which costs five. Um, we need to farm... Um, Emeralds again at the fox farm, but there was this inefficiency with the hostile mobs. If you maybe quickly go to a creative world, I can show you how we can improve this. Okay, so here we have a spawning platform where the foxes can spawn on, because there's one layer of snow and perfect timing. I uh, hope you saw this, that the foxes actually spawn higher up, so basically at the top of a full block and then drop down here with the snow layers. When I saw this the first time, this made me think that the foxes might also be able to spawn on two snow layers or three snow layers, etc. And that's actually the case. This is really helpful because normal mobs can't spawn on two snow layers. They can spawn inside of a single snow layer because you know how snow layers work. Um, there's no collision with a single snow layer. If you had two snow layers, obviously a little bit higher up. And this prevents the hostile mob spawning, but since the foxes drop down, there is no collision yeah, with the snow layers, so this works. Alright, so we can make our yeah, fox farm hostile mob proof by just yeah, putting an additional snow layer on top of the existing ones. I've also yeah, shown during the fox farm episode, there's even a better way, basically we could also use um, normal snow and put buttons on top. But at this point, I think it's a lot easier for us to just farm a couple of snow layers and then place it on top of the existing ones um, instead of yeah, breaking all the slabs we have, farm all the snow, placing down all the snow again. So I think this is a quite interesting approach. There's still one advantage of actually the button system and the snow blocks because we could put light sources around, um, like glowstone or whatever, and it doesn't melt the snow. But the snow, snow layers obviously would melt. Um, the light sources would help, so we can also AFK the farm at night time. Um, what I'd like to try instead is actually try to come up with an AFK sleeping system. So the idea would be that we have a player continuously clicking at a bed, and then he will be placed uh, a certain way. And we just need to adjust this somehow so the, the player clicks the bed again. Not entirely sure how to do that, maybe with some water streams. Uh, we'll see, we'll figure something out hopefully. Redstone will be a bit easier and some pistons. They're already setups um, we used before, but we're a bit limited with the, the stuff we have right now. But let's farm the snow first, we can worry about that bed setup later. So it's actually quite useful that we got those pumpkin seeds last episode, because this allows us to get pumpkins which we can carve and create a snow golem. So we don't need to wait for snow to fall, we don't need some kind of platform to uh, farm snow, we can just have a snow golem. All right, I already prepared a little bit of wet farmland and I'm not entirely sure if it's still in the game. There used to be yeah, a nice little exploit. If you would grow the pumpkin seed into a plant, there was always a chance that a pumpkin grew immediately. I'm actually not sure if I break this, do I get a seed back? Um, not entirely sure. I'll go to creative, I'll look it up, but let's just actually wait for a pumpkin to grow. Uh, the chance to actually grow a pumpkin is higher the more surrounding farmland we have, especially if it's wet. So this should give us a pumpkin any minute.
Okay, now we also have some beetroot. It's good for red dye. Oh, there's actually a reason to get red dye. There is an advanced mill, I just remembered. From this mod pack. Make a bed of the right color. Yeah, so we can dye some wool. And combine it with some planks to get a red bed. Red bed. Perfect. Yeah, we needed a bed anyway for the AFK setup we wanna build. Okay, so next I'm actually gonna grab all the iron shovels we had from farming zombies. Got a couple in there, fully repaired. I don't think I'm gonna take the enchanted ones though. Although, yeah, we could get a bit of efficiency this way. But the reason why I'm actually taking all the shovels is that you can insta mine snow layers with iron shovels, but you couldn't do the same with wooden ones. So we also have a couple of shovels at, at the newer mob farm. Let's see how much we have there. Mm, so I think if we combine all of those, you could maybe get like three extra shovels. Not too much. Also, I've been sloppy lately. I didn't keep the iron shovels anymore because I wasn't thinking ahead. Just realized that we actually need them now. Or at least as many as we can get. Mm, it's a bit over six and a half iron shovels. Each iron shovel has 250 durability. Um, we actually need 2,500 snow layers. If I remember it right, four snowballs. You get one snowball from each snow layer, make more than snow block. And basically you can make two snow layers out of a snow block again. So we need to shovel 5,000 snow layers, but we can only do it instantly um, for 1,700 of those. For the rest we would need to use wooden tools, which is kind of annoying take a long time so i'm actually thinking about just farming a couple more mobs i mean we could get more iron this way which would already be kind of useful and also gives us the chance to get a silk touch tool or even the looting sword uh, i already have uh, 31 iron ingots we've been actually farming on stream a little bit but yeah no reason to not have more actually let's go for it so I've been chopping down mobs for about half an hour and this session was actually super worth it. So biggest news of course is we got a looting sword. <laughs> it just dropped. It has looting 2 and knockback. Alright, we're definitely gonna combine it with the mending sword. Um, I also got 16 more iron ingots. Here is basically my luck detector. You have the same drop chance for potatoes, carrots and iron ingots. But for some reason I always get more potatoes and carrots. Only got 16 ingots but uh, 24 potatoes and 23 carrots. And something that actually really surprised me. All of a sudden I get a baked potato. And then it occurred to me that Mojang actually thinks about stuff. Uh, so if you kill a zombie that is on fire. It can drop a baked potato. I'm really surprised by this. But, uh, so we can also get those type of items already. Right, what else to report on? I got a couple more iron shovels. But of course you can just craft iron shovels as well. So if we spend like 20 iron, then we can yeah, shovel all the snow we need. Um, the goal was basically just to make sure we have 31 iron ingots at all times. In case something happens to the anvil. Right, and yeah, if you bring all of the shovels we have, um, plus 16 ingots, yeah, we have enough for snow shoveling. Right, now let's combine sword and finally get some looting. Oh, 21 enchantment cost, yeah, at this point, it's getting critical. Can't really put looting 3 on it, I feel like, anymore, because it would be maybe too expensive, but I mean, what should I do? Wait now? Ah, I'm just gonna go for it. Looting sword. I think I'm gonna keep farming mobs here a little bit longer. It's just so much fun getting more stuff. So we almost doubled our iron production now. Instead of having a 2.5% chance to get a player kill drop, it's 4.5% now of looting 2. Would be 55 uh, of looting 3. So we should get like 65 to 70 iron ingots per hour now, which is already really good compared to what we started with. Almost like an iron farm, but only almost. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely a lot more fun now, but it's just crazy how many items we're getting now. Inventory is filled all the time. I also started upgrading my chainmail armor, so with the, the anvil, it's no problem anymore. Also with the increased iron production, 
Um, I can also kind of waste, yeah, the iron on on my my armor if you like. Uh, we already have a good helmet, good chest plate. Chainmail leggings need a little bit of more durability. Already have here protection one that wouldn't help much. Now kind of looking for feather falling for chainmail. So chainmail is better than gold um, because it has the same type of yeah, armor, but it has more durability. That's why I'm going for that right now. Okay, we're also getting iron shovels now. All right, maybe at the end of this we have enough iron shovels in. I think I have enough of farming mobs for the day. In total, we have nine iron shovels now and 72 iron ingots. That's actually really good. So I'm gonna take 16 with me. Additional shovels. Um, one thing I found actually interesting, I got a fire resistance potion from a witch now. It could also be helpful maybe at some point. But just a side note. Okay, and then I do have a lot of chainmail boots. Got unbreaking. Protection and Depth Strider 2, Feather Falling 3. Let's say we combine all of those boots into one, the anvil, and then do the same here with those chainmail leggings. Let's see if the anvil survives that. Protection 3, a total protection 4, and unbreaking. There we go. Protection 3 again. Let's put. Yeah, unbreaking two on it. Combine it with this. Okay, now we finally have a oh, decent set of armor. I finally made it over to the fox farm. I'm just gonna mine a couple snow layers here. Just enough so we can craft a snow golem. Okay, now I just need to push him over. And try to place pen skate on the other side and he should be perfectly locked in. There we go. Alright. Yep, now we can farm the snow. Okay, I think I'm just gonna expand this a little bit more. No snowball can land in the void. Oh yeah, by the way, here's what mining snow with the wooden shovel would have looked like. Definitely so much slower. Would have been fine, but I guess it's worth using the iron. So I used up the 9 shovels I got, and the 60 iron I brought over. With this many snow blocks now, that should definitely be enough to get enough snow layers. Oh no, I'm so screwed. I was just AFK for a second, somebody was showing me a nade for CSGO <laughs> and I tapped out. Oh, this is bad. Um, should I throw my armor on the ground? It might be an idea. And then just try it. Let's go, just go for it. I think the trap goes. Let's just go for it. Yes! Oh, <laughs> made it. Oh my god. Well, that was a close one. No idea why I actually put my food away. Oof. Definitely lost some snow layers there as well and some slabs. <laughs> That's for sure. But this is fixable.
Well, look at that. Somehow this yielded a record for us. Which one is this even? Oh, okay. <laughs>